Hey everybody, how's it going? Jesse Nyberg here. In this video, I'm going to be creating bitmap graphics in Adobe Photoshop like this or like this using Black Markets plugin Ink Lab. Now let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is head over to Adobe Photoshop. I usually use 16 by 20 and 300 DPI. I already pulled an image and if you want whatever you want to use, end up grabbing that from you know, Unsplash or some kind of stock image site or your own photos, whatever it may be. I'm gonna use this car because I liked how the other car images turned out when I did this effect. I thought it was really cool, this old like Havana style stuff. This can work with anything, but it's good when there's more contrast or a color you wanna highlight. And if you wanna go follow along with this image, go to the Patreon and I'll have all the project files there. So now that we're here, I may just bump up the curves a little bit. We can probably just do a linear contrast. Yeah, let's do a little more on the white and bring out the blacks a little bit. So nothing much, but just a bit. Let's put that on 80%. All right, from there, we're gonna go and open up Ink Lab. If you wanna do that, it's in your extensions panel. If you don't know what that is, it's a plugin from Black Market that lets you replicate bit mapping, halftone effects, and all that stuff. So here, how I set this up is I go into Advanced and I usually use Pattern Diffusion, which creates the bit mapping stuff. Halftone Screen is more for print effects. And then here, I'm gonna keep this pink because it's already close to my color right here. All these angles, I'm gonna leave the same. I like using the warm copy paper and the textures. And then on the effects, I'm gonna leave these for now too. These do all kinds of different things. You can watch on their channel for a more in-depth overview. All right, and then we're just gonna pretty much play that process and let it go through. All right, so we already have the effect here, but what I wanna do is isolate this stuff more. Let's close that up. So what this does is over here in your layers panel, it separates everything out for you. I'm gonna untoggle the blue and the yellow because I only want to show this pink. All right, and now what we want to do is harshen up the blacks. So let's isolate that. And what I do is Command J and just duplicate it. So maybe give it, let's do four. That should work out. And I'm gonna group this, call it black, and we'll save that for later. And then now we're gonna duplicate it again. I want to bring out some of these blacks up here, but not do too much to the car. So I'm gonna keep duplicating it, something like that create a layer mask and just use my soft brush to paint into the layer mask and bring some of the detail back into the car. So let's do it like that. And now we still have the stuff up on top that's a lot darker and more contrasty. So pretty much you already have kind of the effect that I do a lot on Instagram here. Very simple, a lot of cool textures and there's stuff you can go in and you can pretty much manipulate all this with the curves and change some of the stuff. But what I want to do now is bring back in this color right here. So I'm going to toggle on the pink. All right, so what I'm going to do from here is basically mask everything out except for the pink that I want right here. So an easy way I start is I use the lasso tool and I just get all this right there. And we'll start with blacking that out. You can go into here with the Alt option and click in and see what you have. So that's a good start. And now I'll just go in and fine tune it. And we just wanna leave the parts that would be pink. And you can go into your image right here and see which parts you're looking to do. I might actually keep that blue right there cause that's a nice little touch. All right, I'll see you back after I mask some of this out. All right, right here, I was just masking out the green just so I can keep that sticker, something like that. Now we want to do the same thing for the pink in the car. I like to go in right here and make sure the highlights aren't pink or whatever color you're working with. You just want to look for the points that would have color and the ones that shouldn't and just go in and fix them up, especially the silver if you're using a car. Just finishing up here, 
I mean, the masking part and choosing which parts to include are basically the bulk of the work. Other than that, the process is very simple. The reason I wanted to show this to you guys is I've had a few people reach out on my Instagram asking me how I do some of these methods and I wanted to make sure that it was accessible to everyone. Also, I just wanted to reiterate, this isn't the only way to bitmap. You can use features already built into Photoshop. This is just what I like to do. So that's kind of the gist of the effect. You can always add type and other things into the folder that the Ink Lab creates, but this is pretty much what I like. Again, if you want to download the project file for this, check it out on Patreon. All the stuff will be there. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when new videos come out. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Peace.